Okay, it says I'm live. I'm going to open up the chat. I'm just going to play some video games. i um, just going to have some fun with that. So, yeah. Um, we will see how this goes. I think I might turn down the thingy to that. Um, it says there was an error trying to play this live stream, so I'm just going to check that it's still working. Um, so, seems to be working. Cool. Now I'll just close Twitter, because that will just get distracting. And I think I'm ready to go. Hi Rogue Wasteland. Um, I think I might turn up the desktop audio just a little bit actually. I think I might have turned it down a little bit too much. Now I'll turn on the visual for that. I'll just check we've got visual for the game. Yeah we do. Cool. Um, hmm. I'll just turn, I'll move that a little, see if that, I'll just have that over there, maybe make that a little bigger, it's just so I can read chat as well. Um, I don't have dual monitors, unfortunately. This is Kingdom, um, so it's really good, it's a really fun little game. I'll just make that a little bigger, there we go, now. Sorry, I probably should have done this off stream. I just wasn't really thinking about the chat and wanting to be able to see it. So now I can. Actually, maybe it would be prettier on this side. Oh, no, nah, that looks bad. I'm going to put it on. Maybe I'll just put it smack bang in the middle. There we go. Yeah. I'm a very professional streamer, as you can tell. <laughs> hey. Um. So, uh, it seems like I just came back to this old game. I haven't played this game in ages, but it's a really simple game. Um, I have the unicorn, so I think that... Oh, okay, I've got... <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 don't give me more money. I can't carry it all. As we can see, I'm the queen in this, of this town. Um, oh, shit. Okay, there's no walls there. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Get back in, get back in, get back in. Okay, where are the monsters coming from? Uh, no, it's not on Twitch at the moment. Um, it's Tess's Twitch channel that we usually stream the thingy from, the um, Please Explain. Uh, so, yeah, this is just mine. Also, if you haven't got the New Kingdom, um, when you get the unicorn, it poops out <laughs> gold every time you... Uh... What? Okay. Every time... You... Uh, what am I... What was I trying to say? I can't remember. I think I actually killed all the monsters, did I? I can't remember what was going on in this game. I am, like, the worst at thinking while I play. And, like, talking. Hell yeah. Oh no. Oh no! Is it... Leave my guys alone! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I think I was like achievement hunting trying to get to the like a certain day oh no oh no this is very bad oh god there's so many of them and the big one oh no oh no oh my guys they're running away okay 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 I need to stock up on these I'll stock up on some of these as well Hey. It's going good-ish. I think I just uh, lost a lot of people though. I'll need to go try to get them back. Oh no! The <laughs> landlords are coming. Yeah, tomorrow I've got a debate that I'm <laughs> sort of dreading because it's about landlords uh, with Muke and I don't know, I feel like he might do better than me in a debate about it because like I'm not really thinking about this as like a you know I don't know I, I, I just I don't really get the whole communist take on it to be honest I think it's like a little bit it's not really based on what's going on at the moment I don't think like 
just seems very based on theory and yeah piss in the landlord's pool nice actually I'll hardware lower the volume Oh, what does this do again? All oh, right, I get a little old lady on my back, and then I'll take her around. Yeah, it does feel a little bit larpy. Please do a video about fighting against patriarchy and religions. I became a feminist because of spending three years in the NIFB as a teenager. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with um, what the NIFB is. Um, I'll have to look that up though. But yeah, I would um I would be interested in talking more about religion. I made a video about Islam that I deleted because I thought it wasn't really as well thought out as it could have been cuz I think I did go a little soft on Islam, but not not that I want to go hard on Muslims as such because I feel like in the West we're very hard on Muslims. We don't really need to worry about that too much. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I didn't, I do feel like I sounded a bit like, I don't know, I started getting these comments from, like, Saudi people going like, yes, thank you, and I'm like, I don't know, am I, am I going too far in the other way, like, because I'm not really in favour of organised religion as a whole. Ah, there we go, this is where the dudes were, I need you, please, run to the camp. Why do they always walk so slow? Ah... Uh, so it's a sect. Oh, I think I must have been building the boat already. Whoop. Is it safe for them to work at night? I don't think so. I think the red night is just when it's the worst. What day is it in this game? XIV. Fuck, I've forgotten my Roman numerals. That's um, fucking 55. For uh, 54, day 54, I think. So do Christianity is responsible for make America straight again thing. Ah, uh, I see. In all seriousness, I think landlord hate is more based on dealing with shitty landlords than the concept of landlords themselves. Yeah, um, that's sort of what I think it comes down to. I did actually end up looking into Adam Smith just unintentionally. I just googled Marxism landlord because I kind of wanted to know what to expect for our debate. Um, because I do want to engage in good faith in this. I think a lot of people have a pretty negative opinion of liberals in this, but, you know, yeah. Oh, heard back from your landlord. How did it go? Were they okay? Or, you know, are they being a bit of a douche? How's it going? Uh, there we go. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's why I was holding off on it. I think I was trying to go for an achievement. Yeah, okay. I was achievement hunting. That's what I was up to. They'll take a few days to get to the coast anyway, those guys. So, yeah, I was trying to get to like 70 days or 100 days or something. I can't remember. I haven't played this game in ages. Yeah, it turns out they won't lower the rent and will demand all cash at some point. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. Yeah, I feel like the, um, th this sort of problem should have been solved in government, that they should have realised that obviously people are going to have problems just sort of, um, paying for shit. Like, I, I, I don't know, I feel like it should have been up to government to fix this, because I don't really think it's, um, I don't really think we could expect landlords to just take this on the chin just cause, just out of the kindness of their hearts. It's not really what they're known for. So I feel like this problem should be fixed by government rather than just like, well, landlords are bad inherently. And it's also that some landlords are vulnerable as well. It's not really as clear cut. And yeah, I guess my ideas are mostly for working within the system rather than completely changing the system. Okay, let's get more archers. Yeah, yeah, because there was a hold on um, on mortgages and the um, interest rate is almost at zero, basically. It's so low. So basically the, the landlords will be fine if they're not getting the money, if they have income of their own. And like, yeah, some of them should probably just get a 
like proper job. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I guess my position on it is just that I think that the conversation needs to be a little more nuanced than just, like, landlord bad. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah, I think my position on landlords is just sort of, you know, I don't really like some of the leftist rhetoric on it at the moment, but fundamentally I don't really know if we're going to disagree too much that I don't really care if landlords as a thing are protected as existing, just like I don't think we need landlords. I just don't really think they're as bad as people sort of say, like, depending, obviously. Like, I'm not defending all landlords. I think people kind of have been really unfair about that and going like, oh, well, I got evicted and so you're defending the person who evicted me. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not. I'm not defending anyone being evicted. Just, yeah. So I think some landlords generally, like, uh, like genuinely are trying to do the right thing. It just isn't enough. I think I must have defeated the, um, must have defeated the gate in this. Now an ex-NIFB bisexual sex positive feminist witch. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I'm genuinely really happy for you. I think that's cool as. Oh, okay, so I must have killed that thing there. Okay. Oh, okay, so I've killed both of these, and then... Right. That's why there's no enemies coming from that side. Got too much money in this game. Not enough to spend. Couple of key problems with landlords as they exist now. Yeah, like, as they exist now, I wouldn't defend. Um... Like, I feel like it's just a miscommunication what happened on Twitter that I don't think people really got what I was trying to say and, I don't know, the platform's just not really great for having a detailed discussion of what you're talking about. Because of this, housing is a right should be... Should medical care? Oh. Yeah, housing is a right. I think it's an important concept. Um... I think essentially that there should be a community option or a social option that um, like governments should be involved in. Um, I, I more think it's on government to pick up the slack where there's people without a home. Um, I think currently what we're doing is not really enough. Hello, I'm the Twitter ne guy near Normie. I was till last week also. Ah, Shiborian, I tried to have a sensible discussion with Essence of Thought. Nasty if Biden was dead, so it's ghosted. Ah, I remember S. Hyborian, yeah. I think you was from Spain, you were saying. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Essence of Thought and I don't really see eye to eye on things. I don't dislike her. Um, I mean them, I should say, because they're non-binary. Well, actually, I don't I don't know what they identify as. I think it's non-binary they identify as, but we don't really, we don't really agree on a few things, and it causes a bit of tension here and there. I don't really like to get involved in the drama, and I think uh, they've been involved in a little bit of it, so I just kind of avoid that whole thing, because I don't really want to, don't really want to get involved in that. Oh, I remember this now. Now I can create a teleport. Wee. Mm-hmm. Where will I put it? I'll put it over there. Mm-hmm. Hello. Ah, uh, yeah, Essence of Thoughts goes by any pronouns. Yeah, that's what I thought, because I was like, oh, but 
I don't want to say ones that are wrong, and I always get confused because, yeah, it gets, um, it gets hard to remember everybody's name and pronouns and everything because, I don't know, I think I saw the picture, like the cartoon, and I thought, oh yeah, the long hair, and went, oh, this looks feminine. She, her. Uh oh. What other games you got? I've got quite a lot um, in my inventory here, I guess. Well, not inventory, what do you call it? Arsenal. <laughs> got a fair few games, um, but I don't know how many would be good for streaming, to be honest. Um, I also worry because some of them I put my real name <laughs> as uh, my uh, thingy, and I was like, oh, I don't know. If I open it up, I could end up like accidentally revealing my real name. <laughs> Funny how nobody seemed to connect the numbers of homeless with property values. Um, not sure what you mean by that, sorry. Okay, let's go over here and see what the damage is like. Mm -hmm. Think everything's okay, think everyone's still here. We got everyone on board. Mm, gotta be drugs, gotta be mental illness, gotta be wrath of God, couldn't be rising property values. Yeah, I um I don't really think that the homeless are, you know, bad or anything, and I don't think, you know I think people are very shitty about homeless people generally. Yeah, actually, there's nothing that way. I can see that living in Hawaii, yeah. Yeah, I think, um, I think there's a lot of people who just sort of turn a blind eye to other people suffering. Like, it's just uncomfortable to think about it. Uh, many of the Aussie anti-SGWs like Gary Awesome and Suit Yourself still claiming coronavirus is fake. <sighs> What's really funny to me about that is our conservatives are actually acknowledging that it's real, uh, unlike the American ones, so I have to say I don't really get this whole let's just follow what America says about everything thing that they're doing. That's pretty dumb. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Take it. I don't need it. Take it! Okay. Fine, don't take my money, jerk. Uh, do you guys have money that you're holding on to? Yeah. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Oh, lordy. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I going to do with all this money? Oh, man. Can't I just buy a bigger bag with my money? Fucking hell. It's almost like this is a game or something. Please take it. Take it. He's like my finance here or something, I don't know. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Before the sun goes down and you fuck off. Come on. Yeah, treasure or something. Come on. Bastard. Useless prick. Take it all. Bastard. Okay. Uh, was that a statue with the bow Artemis? I'm not sure, actually. I think it's far more sinister than just being shitty. Mm -hmm. Anyways, gotta go. Have a good one. See you later, Tess. Yeah, you gotta go to bed because it's late here. Sorry, I'm broke. Huh? I see full of friends. Our property values good. Yeah, I think um, there should be more strict rental control. Um, basically, I'm in favour of things like that, reform. I'm actually really kind of tired. Um, I, uh, it's quite late here, so I think I might keep the chat kind of light, because I can't really think straight right now. I'm tired as heck. Okay, so, see if we can, have you seen Rick rolling on Fortnite? It's probably most fun. Um, I haven't really heard of anyone rickrolling for a while. I'm kind of um, surprised that's still a thing. <laughs> oh, did that not work? Oh, okay, I don't know. I can't remember how to do that. Yeah, I haven't um, 
I, I didn't think rickrolling was still a thing, to be honest. Hell yeah, I'm taking off. The crown is safe. Feudalism, guys. My matron goddess is Zanana, and I have occasionally worked with Artemis. Oh, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> I am actually the smart, enlightened atheist. I'm a very smart girl. <laughs> Okay, the crown is safe, but now what? What's it doing? It's just kind of doing nothing, okay. Oh, I see. Right. Um... I don't know which one's which. Which one's number four? Is that one number four? I think it is. Oh, it's this way I've got to go, okay. I'm following the ghost of the previous regent. Okay, you can eat horse. Okay, so if we build this here, we'll build that there. Let the horse eat, collect its gold poops. And we can build more. And we can probably get one of these guys to be a builder and the other one can be a hunter. Have you seen- oh, right. I was checking chat, but I realized it wasn't updating and I was just reading the same things. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe I'll upgrade that wall. That'd be awesome. Upgrade that wall. Oh, that'll be awesome. Maybe after this day is done, I might switch games just to try to keep it interesting. Uh, in before the Lampard when Lord Senpai shows up, ooh boo. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Hello, Madeline. Build a house, rent it out, become the landlord. <laughs> yeah, see, I wish I could, but I can't do that in this game. Mm. I'll have to check what's the saved games of my um, Banished are called, because I don't want one of them to be called, like, my real name or something, I don't know. I'm an idiot with how I name games, so I end up naming them after myself sometimes, and I'm like, uh-oh, that'd be bad. A lot of people think Claudia Brown's my real name, actually. Hey, I love you, Twitter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm, did I just miss it? Which? Um, what time is it in Australia? It's 10pm uh, where I am. Uh, other parts of Australia it would be probably 9pm. Uh, I think one would be 8pm. And there's a couple, couple around. Come on guys, get in. Get in! Get in, bitch. We're going shopping. What do they say? This iDub stuff is so vanilla to me. Kavos bloke was yelling about it. I remember back in the Thunderfoot and Ben and Fang X stuff makes this look like nothing. Yeah. Yeah, Claudia Brown sounds like a real name because I used to be called Ranting Feminist because it was a joke, but nobody got the joke, so it just kind of ruined it. I thought RF was- well, it was. They're both aliases. Um, I actually kind of put a bit of effort into making it sound a bit real because, yeah, I wanted to trick people who wanted to do nasty things like dox me or whatever because then they'd be stuck with the fake name. <laughs> My real name is pretty hard to identify me with anyway. It's kind of generic. But I feel like that's kind of true for a lot of people. 
Yeah, this game is actually really, um, really fun. I actually find it kind of chill, which probably just says that I've just gotten good at the game, I guess. Um, because once you get used to it, it's kind of chill. You just learn a strat and it works. Um, oh, the NIFB, it seems that that was, um, that was a sort of religious sect this person was raised in, um, that was particularly extreme and homophobic, and, uh, they've since got out of it. Um, well, the name's Leah, so I assume she's a, she's a woman, but I could be wrong. Um, trying to be a little less gendered in my language, because, um, I, um, I've been thinking more about my friends who are envies and how I think I want to try a little harder not to just sort of assume like I usually do, because 90% of the time I get it right, but the 10% I'm wrong, I feel like it's not really a good thing. Uh, whoa, what's this majestic gentleman here? Hello. Would you like some gold? <gasps> oh my god, I think <gasps> I can swap. Oh, what? That's crazy! Oh, look at it! Oh my god, that's awesome! Check it out! Oh, yes, I'm a woman. Yeah, I thought so. Woo! I think I might have actually spoken to you on Twitter before, unless I'm thinking of somebody else. I might be thinking of somebody else. Oh my god. This is so cool! Look at this majestic motherfucker! It's the Prince of the Forest. <laughs> I just dropped a coin because if you if they get a coin they'll be happy. Okay, do you need to eat? Mr. Nice Prince of Forest. Oh, he doesn't poop uh doesn't poop gold. Oh Kelsey, I know you. It gets easier with practice. Yeah, I um I just kinda wanna practice doing the assuming gender thing a bit less because I have sort of thought about it, and it would be kind of nice to, you know, live in a world where envies can be more accepted and feel like they're included without having allies misgender them. So I was thinking about it, and it, it really, it, I think it's kind of shit that they get misgendered by um, conservatives doing it maliciously, and then by allies just by accident, and I was thinking it would be nice if I could just work on that and then then they don't get misgendered anymore um, from both sides. I mean, j just as far as I'm concerned, I can't, like, control it for everybody, but, you know, I can at least do my bit, if that makes sense. Hey. Yeah, yeah, um, Leo. I like, uh, I like Star Wars. I grew up watching it a lot. Ooh, hello. Gonna go left tomorrow. But for now, I've got to get back home. I love that she's riding this thing barefoot. This, uh, what is it? Is it a deer? I think it's a deer. It looks majestic as fuck, whatever it is. Is it a deer? It's a deer, right? It's giant, though. It's huge. Huge deer. Oh, dear. Mm hmm. Check my phone, I got a notification. No, it's nothing. Pink skies and purple clouds, it's like inside of my mind. Yeah, it's so nice. I love this game. It's so pretty. Oh, hello. You lost your coin, did ya? It's okay, I'll give it back. Oh, you as well. There you go. Yeah, I think, um, building farmers, I didn't really realize the benefits of it at first, but having farmers in this game actually helps a fair bit. Um, if you upgrade this, hang on a moment. <gasps> oh, I'm a male deer, and these deers are attracted to my male deer. Oh, I get it. So, is the deer following me? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, so it's like a strat for hunting deer, I guess. That feels kind of mean, though. Luring them in with a chad. Then all these Stacys getting screwed over. <laughs> Avoiding assuming genders is why pronouns bias is a useful thing. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks like an elk, but... Um, 
Yeah, there's deer. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm so confused. <gasps> oh, it's another horsey. Another unicorn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Those are trouble. Um, I don't know if there's any point getting these guys, because they're so far away. They probably won't make it back. Um, what's over here? Oh, it's a pier. Okay, so that's where it needs to go. So the left side is what I should focus on. Um, I have a little old witch now with me. So I've got to protect her by getting back real fast. Okay, so these gentlemen are walking back. And hopefully they make it. They probably won't. Because they're a bit far away. I wish they would run back instead of walking. But no. That adds to the challenge though again. So that's what happens. Um, oh. Map. Ah. There we go. Yeah, I've got this majestic motherfucker I ride on. Oh, I think this majestic motherfucker is hungry. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, okay. What game is this? It's called Kingdom. Um, this is the version Kingdom New Lands. I got it for free, actually, because I bought the original one, which was... Um, I think it was $20, but I might have gotten it on sale, I don't remember. Um, you guys, give me your money! Oh no, you have no money. Uh-oh. Oh well, I'm running out of money. Oh no, none of them have any money. I need to destroy some more trees, and then they'll have more room to hunt. Oh well. Tomorrow, I'm going to start destroying the trees. This guy doesn't poop gold, so that's going to make it a little bit harder. <gasps> oh, hell yeah! He's bringing in the big money. All these people just give me money because I'm the queen. Maybe I should set up a Patreon and tell everyone I'm now the regent, and I'm now the queen, and everyone should give me their money. Oh yeah, actually, now that I think of it, I think this lady gets dropped off here, doesn't she? Maybe I need to upgrade it first. I thought the little old lady got off here. Although maybe she won't... I think she might do that on the edge of town. Whoops. Uh oh. Yeah, get him. Okay. Claudia gla gaming streamers as rare as seeing a blue whale. Yeah, I, um, I decided to just check it like just do that because I thought it would be fun um yeah might have another builder how's quarantine going landlords poop gold I wish then we can lock them in cages and make them poop gold by feeding them lots no I'm kidding <laughs> I wouldn't do that that'd be mean who else like Glenn Beck will vow to die for the economy oh man some of the dialogue around this has been so ridiculous. Oh. Mm-hmm. Do they any use have any cash? Come on, give me the cash. Aw. Oh. None of them have got cash. Landlord farm. <laughs> yeah, you don't rent out anything or whatever, and it's not really clear how anyone eats or how anything's done. You just kind of, yeah. I don't even know where the money comes from. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Past the spooky boys. What's past here though? We've got that lady. Um, yeah, it's a really pretty game and the music's really good. Don't think it can do anything. Oh no, there was another little old lady there, but I can't collect her because I've already got an old lady. I think they're witches. Okay, I'll get you to eat and then we're heading home, Mr. Elk. Um, loads of money, yeah. L is for labor, L is for lice. 
I don't know what that means. Um, didn't we fight a cold war so no one should die for capitalism? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not really sure I get what's going on with that, because can't they just put a hold on, you know, rent and stuff? do some sensible changes and then we'll all be okay. That's what I thought. Have you seen the game Conan Exiles? Yeah, I've heard about that. I haven't really, um, I haven't really played that. I haven't really been interested in the Minecraft ripoffs because I've been like, well, I already played Minecraft. That was fun. But I'm really bored of Minecraft and I think similar games to an extent I'm a little bored of because I've just played them to death. Okay, so you bitches better give me my money. You think this is your money? Oh, that's cute. Actually, it's my money. You can see why I defend landlords now. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, ooh. I think there's still money over here. Hey, guys. Give me my money. Okay, you guys. There we go. Okay, beautiful. You eat nice tasty grass. Yeah, um, so maybe maybe after I've built this up I might end it. Because I think I was saying like, oh, one more day, one more day. But this is that kind of game, I think. Didn't loads of money come really popular with yuppies too? I'm not sure. I don't think I know much about that. It just sounded funny, so I was like, lol. What are these guys doing? Why are you standing there? Get back, get back. Idiots. There we go. Hmm, I do need to extend this place out though. That's why you stopped doing the characters. Yeah. Um, you should check out Death Stranding as it's available on PC now and it's really good. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it. I've been wanting to check that out. A fortunate case of satire being understood as sincere to, though, by those who was mocking. Yeah, that happens a lot, honestly. Um, kind of like how I was making fun of the Maoists and then they thought I was sincerely declaring my love of landlords. It's pretty amusing to me, actually. I just fuck with them on purpose now because it's funny to me. The only thing that brings me joy is dicking with other people and making their lives miserable. I don't think capitalism is a bad thing if we didn't have racism, sexism, and phobia. They were... Yeah, I don't think capitalism has to be bad as long as it's kept like in check by something. The problem that it, I think exists is when there's huge inequalities as a result of people not really, um, you know, controlling the state of capitalism like it just gets a little out of control like I think if you have it under control then it's not so bad but at the moment it's just a little bit too much on the side of business and not enough on the side of uh, the workers dicking with tankies is always worth it true yeah I think um, like I'm not necessarily opposed to ending capitalism but I'd want to do it through social reform and stuff like I wouldn't want to do it in a way that's just like oh yeah behead everyone who's the bad people because that just feels like like some of these people just seem a little too eager to go out beheading people and killing people and I end up going like what is this really about is this just about satisfying your bloodlust or is this about actually caring about people because if you're a compassionate person and you really care about people, I don't know how you could suggest with a straight face that we go around murdering people. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't really add up to me. It's all the bloodlust that kind of puts me off. Oh shit, I've spent all my money and now I can't buy a better wall. Oops. That was a mistake. I should have bought a better wall. Oops. Oh well, I've got plenty of archers, so they'll kill any threat that comes by pretty quick, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, how's this gonna go? Oh, we have one coin. How about you? You got a coin? No, you haven't got a coin. You got a coin? No, you haven't got a coin. Give me your coin. Give me your coin. Okay, give, give me a coin. There we go. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm actually sick of guillotine memes. Yeah, I just, I thought it was a meme at first, and then it seemed like these people were being fully serious, and I'm like, oh. Oh, okay then, I guess. I guess we're doing this now, are we? Uh-oh. Come on, guys, work. Work faster. This is terrible working conditions for my builders, by the way. Oh, fuck. Flux paused my game because it's told me I'm waking up in nine hours. Yeah, that's what you say, Binch. Um... Uh, okay, I don't have enough to give that a, uh... Hmm, okay. This was probably the wrong day to build one of those upgrades. Oh well. Guess gonna hide my guillotine now. Yeah, like, it's okay to... I don't know. I don't really want those kinds of jokes around just because I don't really want to encourage this rhetoric where it's just all about this violence and I feel like it could easily inspire some unhinged weirdo to go and do something that we don't want. And I, I am a little bit concerned that nobody seems to be worrying about that, like that some unhinged weirdo could hear all this rhetoric about violence being justified against the upper classes and do something really dumb. And like, I know the upper classes tend to be pretty protect protected, like, it's unlikely, but... I just, I'm not, it doesn't sit well with me, this sort of bloodlust we've just sort of tacitly accepted. It doesn't seem right. Like, I get people are memeing, but it starts to get to a point where I'm like, yeah, but, I mean, alt writers say they're just memeing when they send, like, put, do all those gas chamber memes, and we all know there's an element of seriousness to it, and that, you know, it probably shouldn't just be accepted. Um, I don't know. I was a tiny, tiny channel, so I looked the other way. Yeah... Hmm. Yeah, just, um, yeah, it started to get to a point where it feels a little uncomfortable, where it, how do I tell the alt-right they're not allowed to meme about killing Jews all the time because it's not serious, guys, and then we turn around and joke about killing the upper classes, and it's like, oh yeah, well, they could just surrender all their wealth, and I'm like, well, historically, that's not how these revolutions happen. It's not like people just give up all their wealth and then they're spared. Like, that doesn't really seem to be how these things go. We all know how these things go. We've seen it before. Uh, it doesn't end well for the people with wealth, and if you're genuinely promoting that, at least have the guts to tell us that's what you're promoting instead of going, oh, well, actually, it's just memes, it's just jokes, guys. Like, yeah, I, um, I remember Destiny talking about it, and I was kind of like, you know what, I think he actually makes a good point about the memes going too far, that, like, to someone who's probably, who's lived under Soviet rule, it probably is a bit fucked up to go on lefty Twitter and see all these fucking, you know, uh, hammers and sickles everywhere. Because I was thinking about that as well. Because um, I was listening, um, I was listening to a song by Ramstein. It was called Radio. Um, it's, it's a really good song. I like, uh, I think you should check it out. But basically it was about how you weren't allowed to listen to the radio um, back in Soviet-controlled East Germany, and that the only music they were allowed to listen to... Well, I mean, they were allowed to listen to the radio, it just wasn't, you know, the kind of music that was contemporary. It was only traditional German music. Um, and so late at night he would sneak um, listening to his radio, and everyone would do this. And... I think there's things like that that people have grown up with, with this kind of oppression by government and then seeing a bunch of you know people on Twitter basically celebrating an ideology that did all this evil shit I feel like it's gonna rub people the wrong way if they're from like Lithuania or if they have family who are affected by these things it seems a little insensitive to me um, so I stopped memeing on it myself because I realised I wasn't really comfortable with signalling support for something that I'm not supportive of. 
Um, I think Christy Winters does enough of that with the constant purity tests. Um, sorry, I didn't read this for a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't want to purity test people. It's not that I would cancel somebody or not be their friend if they do these memes. I just don't like them myself and I wouldn't engage with them and I don't condone them, that's it. Um, the Reich Soul Band was born in East Germany. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they were born in East Germany, and so they had to deal with a lot of this suppression of freedoms and that kind of thing, and I sort of, listening to that song, I thought about it, and I'm like, I don't know if I can really, uh, honestly be okay with, you know, uh, constant memeing about the Soviet Union as if it wasn't horrific, um, and as if it wasn't this oppressive force, and it starts to make you realise that maybe these sort of jokes aren't really in good taste, and I did think about it, and I'm like, it does seem a little hypocritical on the face of it. I know that, you know, um, tankies aren't... I mean, I don't even know if I'd go as far as saying tankies aren't as bad as um, fascists, because at the end of the day, there's definitely tankies who've flipped back and forth between fascism and, you know and the communism that they call communism, which, you know, a lot of people would just call, you know, authoritarian. Um, at least Bad Mouse isn't making pro-East Germany videos anymore, fuck him. Reported them to Twitter when you can. Yeah, I, um, I, I like Bad Mouse as a person. I really don't like his politics. That's all I can say about that, is that, like, I like him as a person, but he just seems to have gone down a bad rabbit hole of defending Soviet Union, and it just, yeah, it's a shame. I think a lot of people have been suckered in, and it's ironic because they talk about, like, all the capitalist propaganda, but then they just swallow up all the Soviet propaganda as if it's completely objective, which it isn't, obviously. I think a lot of people do that, it's kind of a shame. There we go. And now we've got a treasurer, yay! I think they just hold on to money for later, I don't think they actually really do anything with it. It'd be better if they, like, invested it or did something with it to make their role a little bit more useful. Like, they just seem to hold on to money for later. Though I guess that is useful considering I've got, like, one purse that's small and I can't hold more than a certain amount. What do you think sh about hedonistic socialism that the government should focus on happiness over security and financial stability? Um, I mean, can you really have happiness without financial stability? Politics is personal to me. I've had no personal interaction with Bad Mouse, but I think he's awful. Yeah, I think it's harder because I, I was friends with him. Well, I mean, I don't know if friends is too strong of a word. I tend to just call people friends who I've just chatted with a couple of times and stuff. Like, I'm not really... I don't really think that through sometimes. Uh, but yeah, we've been friendly and had chats and stuff, and he's been nice, but I do think his standing Soviet shit is not cool. I'm not into that. Um, politic. Oh, wait. We eat the landlords first. Last. They good. <laughs> Financial stability is part of happiness, or rather, take it away, and there's a lot of stress. Yeah, exactly. This is why Denmark is always scoring really well in happiness index. Yeah, because I, I don't really think you can have happiness without sort of stability and finances. We depend on them to live, so yeah. Um, I don't really understand the question about focusing on happiness over security and financial stability, um, since if you have security and financial stability, you'll be happier than if you don't, so I'm not really sure I understand the question. Mind you, I feel like there is, like, in America at least, there's really over-budgeting on military that's completely unnecessary, um, in some ways. Some of it is somewhat needed in some areas, like, I think there are some things the US military probably does that are okay, but a lot of it is pretty bad. I'm not gonna stand the US military for sure. Um, I wonder if monsters can just 
I think they just walk past the archers, but I'm not sure. I don't think so, actually. I think they attack them. He's left YouTube now, seemed to think we're a tube of grifters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I think this sort of critique of bread tube seems weird, considering a lot of us don't really talk that much. Um, like, I think people overestimate how close a lot of bread tubers are to each other. Um, like, I know Ollie and ContraPoints were quite close for a while. I don't know if they still are. I know they have been very close in the past. Um, I know that um, H-Bomb and Sean are close friends. But aside from the those sorts of friendships, I don't really think there's that many people who are what you would genuinely call, like, quite good friends. Like, because I, I, um, I'm on good terms, I think, with Sean, but we haven't really talked in ages. Because um, I think there's a bit of a difference between a friend you talk to versus someone you just kind of know. Like, I actually knew a lot of these people back in the day, because YouTube, it used to be way smaller left YouTube, and yeah, I think uh, I think a few people have moved further left than I was, and that sort of thing, but yeah. BreadTube isn't really this hive mind of people who always agree, oh, my mic fell, um, who always agree with each other, either, like, just because I say something doesn't mean that Sean agrees with it. He didn't exactly co-sign on it. Same with ContraPoints or any of these people. They haven't co-signed on anything I've said, so it seems weird to lump them in with me and my opinions. And I see a lot of people do shit like that a lot. It's really dumb. Really, really dumb. Okay. Mm hmm. Beautiful. I'm getting some money now out of the surfs. Okay, I'll build this up and then I'll build that one up. Then I might call it a night for this game and I'll play something else because otherwise it will get boring if I'm just playing this game constantly. The focus is by especially the British government that the market will provide insecurity and removal of freedoms. Yeah, yeah. Claudia is my thought leader. <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand the whole thought leader thing. I don't really think, I don't really like the idea of that where you should believe what you believe because you think it's right, not because some YouTuber told you that and told you what to think because I don't really like this idea like we get our thoughts from YouTubers. That's the last place you should get your ideas from, is YouTube. You should read and get your ideas from somewhere better. No, not not always. Reading isn't always, like, inherently a better source. I think some people make that mistake a bit, where they think, Ah yes, it was in a book, therefore it is good. If it's in a book, it's good. Why not both? <laughs> My view of everyone feels like happy, yeah, economics go up and crime drops. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, damn. Come on, give me the money. Boo! Hello! This is Nikolai. Whoa, that's a lot of cash. Hell yeah. Um, I've read Mark's trademark. <laughs> Are you playing Doom? Um, no, I haven't really got the new Doom. Oh yeah, I was gonna play something different. <laughs> Save and quit that. I will see what I've got. So, Banished, I'll just check that I haven't named it anything obviously like my name, at which I hope I didn't, but yeah. <laughs> Clearly playing Doom at this moment. Yeah, I don't have Doom, unfortunately. I don't have anything new. I'm, uh, my computer's not that great. There's no point getting really new games. Um, 
I'm going to turn off, um, no, fuck off, I didn't want tutorials, what are you doing? Stop. What are you, what the fuck is going on? No, I'm just quitting that, that's weird, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, I'll start it up again, maybe it was just a weird glitch, maybe the, there was a cable around, uh, there's a cable near, like, a few buttons, so I don't know if maybe it pressed something. Okay, options, full screen. I'll turn off full screen. Because I don't have, uh... Um, there we go. Yeah, I don't have dual monitors or anything, so... Yeah, this is the best I can do. Resolution, I'll have to bring that down a bit. There we go, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that looks good. Now I'll just check the uh, the game save names. Actually, if I just start a new game, I don't think I'm going to have this problem. Okay, so I've got the default names. Good, good. I don't want to give up away my name. Okay. Good, it doesn't seem like I've named it something dumb after myself, so that's good. I had a feeling I did, so I was wrong about that. Going to... Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck off. People messaging me. That will remind me to appear offline quickly, because otherwise... Yep. There we go. Otherwise I'm gonna dox my friends. Well, not really dox them, just, you know, I don't really want people knowing who my friends are on here. Uh, where did all the sound go? I think I turned it off, so I'll just turn it all on. There we go, because I was listening to podcasts while playing. Sorry guys, I usually set this up before stream, but, um, yeah, I was playing something else. <clears throat> Okay, so I will do this. There we go. Um, guess I'll just put that there. Sorry about the uh, resolution, it's just so I can um, read what you guys are saying. Gruntilda, yep, that's my name. <laughs> mm. There we go. Hang on. I'm just going to fix up my headset. There we go. Mm hmm. Didn't actually know you stream video games. I don't usually. I just kind of do it sometimes, and I decided to do it again tonight because it's been a while. Um, I'm just going to go with one of the default conditions. I'm pretty bad at this game, but it's pretty fun. The game can be summed up with, and then they all died. Yeah, exactly, because you'll have all of them working in food because they'll all be starving to death. And then they'll still be starving even though they're all working on food. And I go, how are you still starving? You're all fishing and growing crops and everything. Yeah, it's uh, it's really a pain in the neck. You um, just have to manage your resources really well. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I might have installed mods to make it easier and give you more resources collected from things last time I played. So actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if I've still got those mods on. I think I do. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, mods? Can I turn all these off? I want to turn these off because I want to do it more authentically. Because I think I was just a bit drunk and wanted to play something like this, but not as hard. Apply changes and reload now. Beautiful. <clears throat> you can see the death of a village coming years in advance. Isn't that story from left... Uh, of the left from Destiny's community? Hang on. Uh... Just a trend that appears into food production. Now I'm hungry, just wanted to say hi. Okay, see you later. I finished, I played Banish once, but didn't think it was all that hard at all. Maybe I didn't play long enough. Yeah, you probably didn't play long enough, because it does get hard eventually. You've just kind of got to wait for it to. Uh, when I do start again, I want it to be going faster. I might need to make the 
resolution a little different because some things are a little bit out of folk out of the screen um so i'm just gonna have to make that maybe this size okay that seems to have fixed my problem i'll just check how this looks so okay now i can actually make it yeah that that's much better actually much better for everyone okay now i'm going to make crops here you guys are gonna make crops. I will get it set to beans and then I'll put two people on that. Um, okay, so I will probably clear... Hmm, what should I clear? I'll clear that. It's been a while since I've played this game. I'm a little out of practice. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see. Collect all this iron. I'm probably going to end up regretting this because I'm going to be like, Ah, oh, no, stop doing that. I want you to do other things. Other things. I'll clear all this crap. And then I'll build a fishing dock. The one person I knew didn't know you could rotate the um, buildings that you pr got. So I found that pretty funny. I'll make two builders. Um, I think that's all I need for now, but I will need to build more stuff later. I guess it's cool to plan your village a little bit ahead of time, so I might start planning now and pause production on that. I will build that there and that there, and then I will pause production on those. Then, what else will I do? I think I need a woodcutter. Definitely going to need one of those. I'll need a blacksmith. And then, um... I forgot how to deselect it, so I just end up pressing escape. Sorry, that's probably annoying to a lot of people. Um... So, I need... A... What else do I need? Hunting cabin and gatherer's hut. So... I usually put those together. Maybe I'll put them over here. Seems like a good spot. I'm sure everyone has opinions on how I'm doing all of this. <laughs> okay, I'll check with what chat's saying. How's your day been? It's been really good. Um, demolish their houses and make them homeless. Make crops from the ruins. Return humanity to the forests. I like that. Um, so I guess I'll set play on that and see what happens. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to need another stockpile now that I think of that. Stockpile. I usually end up remaking these games after a while because I realise, oh no, I fucked it up. Because I'll be like, oh no, I forgot the blacksmith or something like that. So we've got two builders, so they're going to be very, very busy. Um... And then the rest are laborers for now. Though actually I might need... Might need more builders for now. Because while we're building everything. Um, how's your day? Oh, right. Unabomber plays Banished. That's how you would play it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's what the next stockpile's for. Shh. It's telling me that the storage for log, stone, and iron is at near capacity, and I'm like, I know! I know! Okay. Not sure if I should turn on super chats, because people probably can't afford to now anyway. But I was like, maybe I should turn that back on. I don't know. It's probably dumb that I don't have it on. I just sort of got stressed out, because there were people who were like, oh, why do you only notice me when I pay you? And I was like, oh, now I feel really mean. <laughs> Come on, builders. What are you doing, anyway? Have you built anything? Useless. A lot of them. I don't get it. I guess they're doing all this stuff, maybe. But surely they'd know the, ha like, the building is the priority here. Um, hmm, okay. Come on, guys. Get on it.
Claudia blaming the working class again. <laughs> Yeah, give me all your coronavirus stimulus bucks, please. Corona bucks. M -m -m my corona. I swear I would have been an excellent father. It seems like my um headset won't really let me go quieter than a certain degree. So I was gonna try to like hardware lower the volume um but i think i'm just gonna have to go into the settings here and turn it down a little because otherwise i can't hear my own voice and then i risk uh starting to raise my voice and i have housemates who aren't uh unemployed right now see this was a great time to be unemployed because now i don't have to apply for centrelink because i got sacked because i was applying for things in hospitality which is what we call um like restaurant work here. I realized Americans don't actually call it that because I said that to an American and they were really confused and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. Do something. Maybe this, maybe this isn't actually going to be fun for you guys to watch because now that I think about it, I just kind of set things up and then I just watch them do it. Okay, how are you guys going? You've finally built that shit. I told you to build that, like, a season ago. Come on. Yeah, get it built. Yeah, we'll make, we'll make two of them fishes for now. Yeah, the reserve of food is low. No shit. It's because you people did fucking nothing for ages. Okay. Okay, two of you are gonna quit that. You're gonna become woodcutter. Okay, now they've finally started building shit. Maybe it's because the builders remove, like, stone and stuff like that when you tell them to, and I was, like, more intending them to do the... Like, I was wanting the labourers to do that. <sighs> oh, well. The AI in this is pretty bad sometimes. So we've got a blacksmith, we've got food coming in. What about these buildings? I guess people still can change jobs and all that. Good to have multiple sources of food. Speaking of that, there's all these cows here I could take advantage of. Uh, pasture. I'm gonna build a pasture. Maybe I'll build that over there. Oop. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that. Maybe, maybe over here. Here might be good. Um... Oh, did I forget the forester's hut? I think I did forget the forester's hut. So we've got a hunting cabin and gatherer's hut. Uh, okay, forester's hut. Forester's lodge. My bad. Forester's lodge. Need one of those. Okay, so I'll have a hunter. I'll have a gatherer. Uh, okay, so you've decided you don't need to work because you've already got enough in storage. So I think I'll put the tool limit up because otherwise they'll just do nothing for ages. Um, iron, we will build stone. Grab this stuff, guys. Mm, might build a house now because it's been a few seasons and then it keeps them making more babies. Cattle, please. There we go. Get those cattle in there. Okay, and then that should make... Mm hmm, now I can... Mm, maybe I'll leave that at 200 for now. Taylor, I guess that can be further down the line and I'll just pause production on that for now. Mm. Are you these guys landlord? Kind of. Not really. I'm more like an omnipresent force. Funnily enough, not only did they eat shit, they were also a massive piece of shit. Huh? Oh, wait. Ah, uh, eating poop. Okay, so you're talking about people who are into that ill. 
Well, and you would be proud of you facilitating them making babies, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just make them a home. Ooh, yuck. It's like an 11 year old and a 12 year old just moved in together. They work as well and have full jobs. It's so silly. It's so weird. It's so gross. I think what's grosser is when you find it that, like, it's like a 30 year old married to, like, a 12 year old, and you're like, ew, gross. So I thought, oh, must be, uh, oh, yeah. I thought it must be their child, but no. It's like, yuck. <laughs> there we go. I'm starting to understand why these people were banished. When you see how young they marry and that they marry 13 year olds and stuff starts making sense why it's called banished and why these people were banished sounds like jf's <laughs> ideal society and kept going yeah exactly okay i might build roads for them to walk on now because i think we're at that stage where we can start to think about roads there we go. And I'll build a road here. Build a road going here. Oh, lag. Here. And then there. And then we'll build a road right down here to this place. And then they'll walk faster. What's the age of consent in Australia? It's 16 or it's 17, depending on what state you're in. I was curious about this subject because I know um, Japan got brought up a lot about age of consent and I thought, well, actually, I don't know what the age of consent laws are in Australia. It turns out it's 16 or 17. I thought that was pretty young, but yeah, there you go. I kind of like the music in this game. It's really peaceful and quiet and it's really nice. I like this game. It's really chill. I mean, until everyone starts dying, of course, and then it's not very chill at all. Claudia, I work in a cinema where Foz recovers from the, uh, from the forest before the US. We'll still have no new movies to watch. We'll have to reshow old Australian movies. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. The Japan thing is weird, like people say, oh Japan is 12, but they have the lowest prefect, uh, that's the lowest prefectures can set, none of them have. Yeah, so like, I feel like that's something that gets misrepresented because I haven't actually heard a Japanese person address this subject, so I'm a little bit sceptical when I hear a bunch of people who aren't from a country talking about the laws there, where I feel like it, you know, they probably don't know what they're talking about. And even if you do hear a Japanese person talk about it, they could be as wrong as you are. Like, they might just be reading the same dumb shit on the internet that you're reading, and maybe they don't know what they're talking about. Um, and so I think people need to really not just read everything they... Uh, believe everything they read online, which is funny, because they sound like a boomer right now. Man, for some reason I just really feel like whiskey. <sighs> I don't know, I feel like I, I, I've just wanted more alcohol this entire COVID-19 thing, you know. Just wanted, wanted to get drunk. I think that's a lot of people right now, actually. So how many labourers do we have? We have four labourers. I think they are not really busy right now, so I guess they're still collecting all that crap. Um... My, we've got two of those. Maybe I'll grab one in each of these. There we go. Now they've got a good supply of food. Um, what do we got the stats on this place? We've got eight children. That we need to have a couple more. So I'll just build a new house because moving out of home means they'll be able to have babies. Um. 16 in this that's old enough to have babies apparently so it should be fine I mean technically it is but ew it's kind of weird sorry cows you're gonna have to go I don't know where you're gonna go but 
Not in the house. Oh my god, the cows are just in the cows are in the house. <laughs> Look at them. They're just they're just chilling. They're in the house. We just built a house around the cows. There you go. So there must be a there's a cow inside that house, surely, because there was one in there when they were building the house. Imagine that, you just build your house around a cow. Sorry, I wouldn't want to move it. I wouldn't want to move it out of the way. That would be an inconvenient for it. <laughs> Cows into house. See you later, Leah. Have a good night. Yeah, what I have happen in some games is that you have a bad male to female ratio where it's not even, and then you run into issues through that sometimes. Okay, so I've got some more labourers now. I'm going to get them to be foresters because we need more trees right now. We really need more um, no, more wood just looking at the stockpiles. Looks like we're going to run out of wood if we don't do something. So, yeah, that's not going to be great. Ah, oh, right. Oh, sorry, good morning. Um... The Empire got you. Animal Farm 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cute. It's had a little baby. Reserve of logs is low. Yeah, exactly. This is what I said was going to happen. I mean, I've made these people far uh, foresters, but I don't know if it's going to fix it. Um, I guess I can just get them to harvest these trees for now, just to keep the, uh, keep the supplies up, because... Otherwise, we could run into issues. I like that there's just cows in people's houses. Just chilling. Just doing that. Just being a cow. Alright. Government mandated redistribution of women. <laughs> Perfect society. <laughs> Lol. Imagine that, though. See, all these incels say, like, oh, if the state mandated girlfriends, that would be so good. But, like, what if your girlfriend was really, really ugly and you really weren't attracted to her? Um, like, they don't really think about that. Like, what if, what if they found their girlfriend really unattractive? They can't say to the government... Like, imagine the government, really. Like, this is the government, you know? They're, they're not going to care if you think she's ugly. They're just going to be like, sorry, that's, that's what you've got. That's your girlfriend. Doesn't matter if you find her ugly. She's your girlfriend. <laughs> They've had a bab. They've had a babby. So we've got a girl who's 16. And we've got a boy who's 19. I don't know though, because we, we're low on food, so we need to keep that under control. So I guess we'll build more food resource places. Got one of those. We'll build another hunting cabin. I think if you space them out, it's better. Um, so build a hunting cabin. We'll build a gatherer's hut here. Then we'll build a forester's lodge, but I'm going to pause production on that one so that it's not uh, prioritized first, because it's not really a priority right now. We've got um, foresters, there we go. Just get them to remove all this stone and crap as well, and so that'll all work nicer. There we go. Oh, we just got a boom of workers grow up, so... That you know what that means. You know what that means. And by grow up, I mean like turn 13 or 10 or some shit. Hunt the women. <laughs> Kill the girl for food. Hunt the women. Make our gang. <laughs> Hi, my girlfriend is ugly. I'd like to return her. Yeah, because that's, um, that's what's funny. Uh, uh, what if government mandated girlfriends was one of those maths women ew yeah like one of those ones who's like hey honey let's watch some married at first sight or like one of the women on it blur because that's what it would be like they seem to think this would be a good thing for them but they have all these weird high standards about women as well so it's like dude do you think you're gonna get a virgin if the government mandates you have a girlfriend and picks your girlfriend for you do you think the government really is going to care that you don't appreciate that you didn't get a virgin? 
or like whatever else other quality like what if they don't suit you like match you up with a christian even and you're a turbo christian because you know what these people are like the ones who man want this sort of bullshit um it's like okay what if she's an atheist though like you just said date mandated girlfriend you didn't say any other qualities kind of shows you how shallow these people are they literally just think ah yes i want a girlfriend they don't really care about details which is really dumb okay so see if we can get this food production up we don't have any laborers anymore but that's okay we're gonna make more laborers you see what i'm doing oh, actually i don't know if my cursor's switched on like can you guys see my cursor just going to um go into my settings and check because I think it makes more sense if you can see my cursor. Um, video, hotkeys, advanced, so... Uh, fuck, I don't know what I'm doing! I don't know how to use this app! Um, hide cursor projectors, save projectors, um, hide overflow, fuck, what do all these settings do? I don't know what a projector is. I don't know how to make it show my how my cursor. So, oh well, you know what I'm referring to, anyways. So, it's all good. Seems re log reserves are low, so I guess I'll just get them to build that forester's hut, and maybe that'll fix it. I hope so. Anyway, okay. Yeah, we've got all this food lying around now. I think everyone's good for food. Yeah, they've got plenty of food now. Plenty of food, not many babies. You know what that means. More, more babies. We've got an aging population problem. Time to pump out babies, guys. Hope you like making babies. Because you're going to be making a lot of them. Okay. You know when um you start getting like eleven year olds move in that you're like getting towards the last of them. Whoa, okay, now we've got ten children, see? My make babies plan worked. My cat just went to the little litter behind me. I was gonna say go to the toilet, but that doesn't really make sense because she's not really going to the toilet. It's it's a, a litter box. We got this uh, crystal litter shit because apparently people panic bought litter as well, so that's fun. Fun times. Just the crystal litter makes a funny sound, and it's also funny because she doesn't like the sound, and you can tell. Oh, look at that age gap, guys. We've got a 12 year old and a 20 year old. Gay Layton. <laughs> guess she's a libertarian. <laughs> uh, you can actually train a cat to go in the toilet. Yeah, you can. I don't know if I could train my cat, though. She's an idiot. Um, you found JF. <laughs> well, it would be JF, but it's a woman, so... Yeah, anyone when the white working class social status quo degraded so much that Jordan Peterson openly <laughs> advocated for enforcement of women. Yeah, that was funny. Honestly, I find it dumb how many people get upset about things like non-monogamous couples and all that. Um, like, if you're not in the relationship, I don't see why anyone really cares. Like, if it's not your relationship, it's kind of none of your business, so just worry about your own relationship, I guess. Like, this shit with iDubs is dumb as fuck. Oh, I do She has a girlfriend. She, I mean, they're not even non 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 non, non, non monogamous. They're monogamous. They just she just has pictures of herself in lingerie, and she makes forty thousand dollars like a month or something on that, and that's pretty incredible. I think the figure was forty thousand a month. If it was a year, that would be like, that'd be more understandable. Yeah, like, eh. Whoa, we've got 13 children now. Okay, we've got plenty of children. No more children. Stop childrening. You've got plenty of children now. No more. 
Firewood is low, logs is low, great. This is how my town's gonna die. No logs, no firewood. Yep, no firewood, you're all gonna freeze to death. I get it, I get it. I see how it is. Fuck. Fuck. No. Now they've got plenty of food and not enough logs. Fuck. Okay, okay. We're gonna take some out of fishing and put them in logging. Well, we'll take one out and see what happens. If it doesn't fix anything in the next little bit, then yeah. I don't know if I should just rage quit this and play something more entertaining, but like, it's hard as well, so if I pick something too entertaining, I just won't talk, so I'll just be entertained. <laughs> Reserve of food is low now. Oh, for fuck's sake, you you adjust one little thing and it all goes crazy. Um, <clears throat> why is the food reserve low? No, it's... is it? Oh, fuck, it is a little bit, eh? Hmm, it seems to go quickly as well, though. People in this, like, seem to hoard food, because you look at the inventory of some households... And they've just got, like, shit tons of food. And, like, what does it mean by this household having 134 venison? Like, what is that? How much venison are you guys eating? And this household has, like, fuck all compared to the others. So you just go, like, I feel like it's a distribution problem, not a supply problem. Like, how much food do you fuckers need? Jesus Christ. I don't get it. So di- yeah. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Need a servo in this town. <laughs> I just literally ruined my life because he didn't keep his femoid in check. <laughs> it's called the Great Replacement because they know it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, honestly, um, the idea of making a mixed race baby just becomes more appealing knowing how much it triggers the alt right. Um, and I know that's like the dumbest reason to bring a child into the world. I wouldn't actually do it. It's just funny to think that they get that pissed off at the idea of it alone. Okay, we'll see if we can build that. Oh no, what's low now? You know what? I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling this game. I'm just going to save and quit. This is pissing me off because it's like, oh, we're out of this thing. Oh no, now we're out of that thing because you accounted for this thing. And it's like, well, fucking you deal with it then. Why are you always coming to me? Pump out makes mixed race babies though in the alt right. I would though. <laughs> nah, not really. I don't really like kids. I have a wife from the island of misfit black girls who I can have him. A... Oh, can I have a hit? <laughs> I don't know that one. Anyway, I'm just going to grab some water. Um, just a second, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh. It won't let me approve it. Why not? Okay, good. Another moderator handled it. Be right back. Ah, the black Biden supporter that said female black Bernie supporters were from the island of misfit black girls. I don't, I didn't see that, but that sounds pretty dope. I'd want to be one of those girls. That sounds awesome. <laughs> you just made it sound cool. I'm willing to bet a significant portion of you talking about outbreeding the right white race have a secret breeding king. <laughs> what was that? Heard something weird outside. The fuck was that?
Just a second. Oh, okay. It was a it was a car. I, it was a weird sounding car because it would do this like put 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 thing at the end, and uh, yeah, it sounded like a voice. Yeah, like when I couldn't hear it properly because I had my headset on, so I had to take off my headset quickly because I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Um, but yeah, sometimes I just get curious because I'll hear weird things around like you'll hear people screaming at each other and you're just like what the fuck is going on there um <clears throat> oh nuclear throne is fun but i'm so bad at it i don't know if i should stream how terrible i am at nuclear throne it is a hard game though so i feel like people would probably be a little charitable to me maybe do you reckon yeah, we'll see. We'll see how charitable people are. Hopefully, a little bit. Um, I'll just make it a nice size, and then I'll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Just a second, guys. You'll be able to see what's going on. Nuclear throne. Okay. Come on. There we go. I'm going to showcase how terrible I am at this game for all of you. So, uh, there you go. Feel, feel, uh, privileged to be able to see what a terrible gamer I am. Okay, now I need to resize it again, because I resized it again. Sorry. There we go. As you can see, very professional gamer right now. I should probably have, like, some kind of load screen, I don't know. Mm. I can't remember which one I usually play. I think fish, because fish is easiest, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Mm. Oh, whoops. Right click went back. Whoops. Boom, a mistake right there. <laughs> I didn't actually ever press that. Eesh. There we go. I just realised my OBS is in the way of the chat. I'm just gonna put the chat there and then there we go. There we go. so bad at this game. <laughs> I'm doing okay, but it's level one, so I wouldn't get too excited. Beesh. There we go. Next level. Wonder what upgrade to pick. Most hit bullets become ammo. I feel like I'm just going to choose all the fish ones and see what happens, if it helps at all. Um... Oh fuck. Yeah, I told you I'm not very good. <laughs> that was easy. I could have missed that. Oh. oh, dip. Maybe there's health around, so I'll probably be able to pick that up. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I haven't played in a while, so forgive me for my bad plays. <laughs> Anyone who's actually played this game is just gonna be so triggered watching this. <laughs> um, mm. Slower enemy bullets, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, you mutate as you go. 
I do not forgive. No forgiveness for you. Oh no! <laughs> you should forgive though. Oh, that's health. Hell yeah. Oh no, oh no. Oh no! Oh, it's this guy. It's the boss. Ah, oh, fuck. Did not reach the nuclear throne. I'm so bad at bullet hell. <laughs> now I'm back to my pistol. I feel like my reaction times are slow tonight. I must just be tired. I'll probably go to bed in a couple of hours. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> I've got a melee weapon. Fantastic. Longer arms, melee range. I don't really like melee, so nope. Water boost. Wait. What's the water? What's the water level? Is that... Is that the radioactive shit that mutates you? And then you level up? Water. I don't understand. Push through a limited number of walls. It doesn't seem that useful. Damage taken is dealt to all enemies on screen. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Grand Russia. <laughs> Gonna make a movie about the history of left YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be a terrible actor, I think. And if it's going over my history, then surely... Oh, actually... That's melon. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realise I was using my uh, screwdriver, which explains a lot. There we go. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Shit. I think there's just so much going on on the screen that I just end up not seeing things that are right in front of me. That's sort of my um, whole issue with uh, playing. Uh, bullet hell in general. Fran Drescher. That's mean. Do you call me Fran Drescher? That's terrible. She's pretty cute though. I'd go there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, my, um, my throat has been a bit funny lately. I, like, my voice seems a little more husky than usual. I don't really know why. A uh, pop gun. It's better than a revolver. Max bullets already. Hmm... Where else is it? I feel like there must be an enemy I've missed. There we go. Uh, do you know about the interracial porn site Black? Uh, so it's black to the in souls and fortran mm -hmm. yeah I don't um I don't really follow fortran doing shit like that but it doesn't surprise me at all um I like that plus four HP yeah and uh fortran is just get really mold they mold over the dumbest shit like Seriously, why would you care that there's black porn around? Like, the funny part is that's not even, like, made for white women or for, you know, black men. It's made for... it's made for white dudes. <laughs> they, like, they get so mad about it, but it's like, you know this isn't being made for, uh, for black men, right? Or for white women. It's just being made for you guys. Then you just get all raged about it. It's funny. I can't imagine seeking out porn I don't like just to get mad about it. It's just pathetic. Imagine having nothing better to do with your time. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at bullet hell, damn it. In fairness, in some of these narrow corridors, you can't really avoid uh, some of the bullets. I can speak in a higher pitch sometimes, I just sort of end up speaking in a lower pitch. Like, it's just comfortable to speak in a lower pitch. And I've also got a bit of a husky voice, so it doesn't really help. I end up kind of with this, uh, low-pitched voice. What the? Oh, fuck! That's an enemy! That took me a second. 
Took me longer than it should have, really, to realise that. Oh, fuck. Mm, rinse death once, recharges at full health. Oh, yeah, this sounds pretty cool. Uh, Forge and Addition 2020 scares me. It's kind of all super that it, I mean, these people are always going to be around. There are always shitheads around. Hottest woman in Australia right now is hands down a black girl. That being a dude... A, a catch. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but that's probably true. I don't think Australians are that attractive, really. There's this stereotype of us being attractive, and I don't know how it exists. Probably just, like, the three celebrities we have that are attractive. Because I've heard people say, like, Oh, Australians, they're so cute, and they're so attractive. Listen to the accents, and I'm just like, What? Are we hearing the same shit? Jesus. We we have very nasally voices and you know I don't really hear it. Then again I hear it all the time. Plus like I feel like any country with a lot of sun and especially the hole in the ozone layer, you're gonna get people who age really poorly. Husky voice, maybe you're turning into feminist Lord Humongous from <laughs> Mad Max, maybe. I always wondered how this game compares to uh, Into the Gungeon. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun, actually. Didn't know that stereotype existed. Yeah, I don't really get it. I think they're just picturing, like, hot girls on the beach, where, yeah, those girls exist, for sure. I've been to the beach and seen girls who are really attractive, but, you know, to think that's the majority is pretty funny. <laughs> pretty naive when it's definitely the minority that are those cute girls on the beach. Low energy. Oh, right. It's like the ammo. Whoop. I have not used those enough to be used to them. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, no. I shot that too. That's the worst part. I just ran into the explosion that I shot, that I started. God, I'm an idiot. I'm so bad at bullet hell. <laughs> Although I did get to the second level this time, that's not so bad. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Oh no, 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 Uh, damn, why am I this bad? The Kiwi accent, accent is an instant killer of, of hotness for me. Those girls kept going to Bondi during the COVID. You don't want them. Yeah, it depends. Like, I think some Kiwis are cute, but it depends, really. Um... Depends on the person, really. I think any accent can be cute if the person's cute enough. Like, I, I think southern accents have been cute to me at points in time because, like, the person is being cute who has it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Did I just... Yeah. Oh, well. I might play something else. I'm not doing well at this game. <laughs> this is too embarrassing. They can be cute. But it was with them. If I can tase them into speaking a different accent. Jesus Christ, dude. That's a bit harsh. I think it's not that bad. Um, Civ, Stardew, Tales of Berseria, Zestria, Yakuza 0. Nah. Um, I think Yakuza 0, you don't put in a name, but nah. I don't really feel like that. Trying Undertale. I've never played Undertale, so I'd want to play it on my own. I wouldn't want to play it, like, on a stream. I'm going to put that in my favourites, because I need to play that later. Bear with me. Uh, Binding of Isaac. I'm equally as bad at. Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced. Chateau. I wanted to play that. That looks kind of fun. I've got... Crazy Taxi, oh, that's a nostalgia trip, that is. Um, what else have we got? We've got Factorio. I haven't played that in a long time. I'll see uh, what my saves are called before I start setting it up properly, because, again, I've been an idiot in the past and set my saves to things that are revealing <laughs> my name. Because usually I don't stream games, so, yeah... 
Yeah, a lot of people, um, a lot of people like Australian accents. I don't really, I don't really get it because I don't think my accent's that good, really. A lot of people like will tell me I have a cute voice or something. I'm like, I think I have like the least cute voice. I sound like way older than I actually am. I think like it doesn't really suit how I look at all because I think I look a lot softer and kind of like cuter than. I sound not that not that I'm trying to say I'm super cute or anything just like it's more like a different kind of aesthetic oh no it's it's lagging really bad I really hope it didn't crash Victoria no I think it's crashed oh god what's it doing it's stuck on 39% oh oh is it working please please don't crash oh no What's it doing? Oh no, I can't, I can't alt tab and check the uh, chat because it's just very slowly loading Factorio and I'm a little worried it's sort of not working right. It usually doesn't take that long to load so I'm like what the fuck happened to Factorio? <laughs> oh no, what's going on? Why is it taking this long? It's now on like 88% so it should be done soon. But I'm just concerned because I have no idea why it's taking this long to load. Usually it's like this bar just goes zoop right past. So, Okay, so update. It's telling me to update. Okay. Settings. Oh, that was fine in the end. Okay. Um, I might see if I can... Yeah see if I can reduce the size of this window. Um, okay, I don't seem to be able to... Oh, you know what? Fuck Factorio. Fuck this game. I'm gonna play something else. Non-Aussies think your voice is cute because they don't hear those accents enough. Use it to your advantage. Yeah, maybe. Um, I feel like uh, I've been speaking to several Australian people online, and honestly, I did find them to have cute voices. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess if people think that, there's no reason to tell them they're wrong. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. Okay. Um, what else have we got? i have looking at what I've got installed, it's quite, um, there's not quite as much as I thought there was on here. I think I might have to install more. Install more stuff. Um, Sega Mega Drive. Oh, I loved those. Those were fun. Um, oh wow, yeah. I've, I need to install more of my games. There's a bunch that I haven't installed in ages. Fuck. There's some that I was like, oh yeah, well that would be cool, but it would give my username and I don't want people adding me because I don't want to be revealed who I am. Um, in real life, so... And I don't want people adding my friends or something, and that sort of weird shit might happen, which would be really weird and awkward, so I don't want that. Um... Hellblaze, Kingdoms, Muse Dash... I don't know what to play, guys. Oh my god. Just... Oh. You know when you've got, like, all the games in the world, you're just looking at all of them going, nah, 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 nah. You're just like, maybe I don't want to play a game. I don't know. It's weird. Mmm. Mmm, there is one that I like. I don't know if there's a streamer mode for it. I'll um load it up and see if they've got an option for, like, not showing the usernames. So you want to, uh, Borderlands 2 or pre-sequel? I do have that. Mm. So many options, none of them we feel like. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, seasons overall have been written like a shitty fanfiction. Oh, um, seasons of which? It's pretty much me every day on Steam. Yeah, I, um, have a bunch that I haven't played. I don't know, because I have... I haven't played Undertale before, so I feel like it would be better to play it, like, I don't know, for the first time I'd like to play it just by myself and really get into it, because I don't want to get distracted and pause every two seconds to check chat, ch check chat, um, 
I've noticed I've kind of developed a bit of a stutter. I don't know if it's because, like, even before social isolation shit, I was um, a little bit isolated because of other reasons, like unemployment. Um, and when you're unemployed, you can't really afford to go out too much, so you end up being inside a whole lot. Um, at least if you're being responsible, you do. Um, so yeah, I'm a little out of touch with some things that are going on. Um, and I've not really been out talking to people as much, even before all this social distancing crap. So I don't know if maybe that's why I've just developed a bit of a stutter. Is it possible to just develop one? I don't know, because it just, it just starts happening to me now and it used to do. So I'm not really sure what it is. Hmm, I hope this coffee flavoured lolly I just ate, um, or sorry, candy, you guys would call it a candy. Um, I hope it doesn't actually have too much coffee in it. Coffee extract, uh oh. Coffee, natural coffee flavour. Oh no, that sounds like it might actually have coffee in it. ASMR. Oh man, does it, is it treating me like I'm a new player? Does it not, does it not have my account in here anymore? I'm going to see if uh, Dead by Daylight has a streamer mode. I'm just going to look at, okay, season end, right. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Stop giving me all these notifications. I want to not full screen. Resolution, I will lower it a little bit just so I can have it off to the side while I read chat as well. Oh fuck, how do I move the window? Let me move the window. Fuck. I can't. My cursor, it's stuck in this little border. Oh man. How am I gonna move this? Okay, I'm gonna have to just lower the res a lot. Oh. Resolution, lower, 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 lower. Mm. Okay. Uh, full screen, main volume, menu music, headphones, mute focus. What else have we got? Have we got a street streamer mode? Oh, doesn't seem like it. Controls? No, that's not really what I need. Um, is there really no streamer mode? Because I don't want my username up there. Aww. There's no streamer mode. What the fuck? That's fucking shit. Fuck. Damn. Yeah, it's been playing a new roguelike called Step from Eden. Neat struggles. Yeah, yeah. Um... Half-Life, the original version. Yeah, I haven't... I had, don't think I have it installed, but I do have it, so I haven't... Yeah. Oh, you call them sweets. I call them... Uh, we call them lollies. Um, and now that that's been associated with pedophilia and all that shit, it's really awkward, because if you say, oh yeah, I'm just tasting some really nice lollies right now, it sounds really weird. Um, oh yeah, because all this stuff that I have, I haven't installed yet. Oh no, but maybe uh, if I install it now though, that it's going to ruin the stream and it's going to make it really weird. Um, can it just... Weird? how do I just show installed games? There used to be a way to do that that was really easy and now they've changed the UI. At least I'm doing the beta thing that has the UI changed. What the... Oh no, I don't know how to use this. Oh, ready to play games. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Oof, I need to install more of these. Um. <sighs> this is so difficult. Oh no. Why is this so difficult? Um. Dead by Daylight? No, I can't play that because I don't have a stream mode. Uh, fuck, 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 what am I gonna do? I'm sorry guys, I'm like the least decisive person on the planet and I did not organize this far ahead. I was just like, oh yeah, I'll play this game. Oh yeah, I'll play that game. And then I was like, oh no, I've run out of games to play. 
because I already finished one of these so I'm just going to remove that from my favorites because I'm already done with it. It's not the kind of thing that has much replay value. Forager I got really bored with so eh. um, I guess I could just play this game. It's kind of silly. I'll um, just load it up and then I'll get into it. Age of Empires. Though, if I play this one, maybe it's going to be hard because I won't be able to read chat while I play a game, but I'll read it between games because it's not like this is like a super, super active chat anyway. It's like pretty, um, pretty normal chat for me. I don't know if you could hear that, but I couldn't. It's adorable. Okay, okay. I'm going to have to go into the settings so that I can see the chat. So, display. Oh, fuck off. Display. Um, windowed, and we'll set it to about this, and we'll see how that goes. Okay work. Um, you guys are hearing some jams going on. Ah, oh, hi Alan, how's it going? I'm going to set it so that we can see the game. There we go. Cool. This one's really cute. I like this game. Okay, so... I think there's no usernames or anything weird gonna co come up that's like gonna reveal my account. Oh, okay, so I'll play the defaults because, yeah, I like this one. Smooth jams. Uh, do you guys need me to turn it up just before I get started? I'll just check that you can hear that okay. I think that's, um, maybe it could do to be just slightly higher. Is that okay? Or is that too loud? I'll just... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so people can hear it. Actually, there's a 40 second delay or so. I did turn it up slightly. I can see my voice bar goes a little bit higher than it, so I think that's a good level. About right. Okay, good. I'm just going to take Dalek Man's word for it, so if you don't agree with him, then it blame him and not me. <laughs> I'm throwing you under the bus, Dalek man. This game's called Muse Dash. It's really cute. It's just like this really wholesome rhythm game. It's really adorable. The character designs are a bit weird. Like, they're really sexualized, but also really kawaii. And I don't really get it, because I was like, oh, it's kawaii. But then, I don't know, some of them are a bit, yeah, sexualized. Oop. Uh, sorry guys, I see it's hidden some of your chats. Um, I'll have to mod someone to 
approve the chats because I'm pretty sure you guys are fine and you're not saying anything bad. Just keep in mind that um, basically things get automatically censored now if there's any swear words in there. So it gets a little annoying. Okay, here we go. Um, I think actually you guys are fine. I don't know who's who to a mod. Guess you guys can mod so that just just so that you can approve the normal things. I can't remember who's who, so yeah, I'm just like ah, uh, you'll do. Why not? Um. No, you don't have to. You don't have to stop swearing. It's not my rule. It's YouTube's rule. YouTube's dumb. Because YouTube's just fucking. You know. Yeah, I don't know. YouTube's just being dumb. I didn't want, um, I didn't want it to censor all swear words, but like, it's like, oh yeah, we're trying to, with this new thing, you know, it'll make your chat experience nicer, blah blah blah, and um, yeah, I just thought like, well that's really dumb, because I thought like, if I pressed OK that it would be only censoring like the n-word or things like that, but Instead, it's like, oh no, if somebody says fuck, that's it. It's censored. And I'm like, can I turn this off? Nope. Nope. It just censors it automatically. I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks, you didn't let me turn that off. You just asked me a vague question, and I was like, oh yeah, sounds good. I like the idea of not seeing really awful words in my chat, but, like, I think maybe my standards are different for that. I hate that everything's becoming so child-friendly on YouTube, where it's like, can we not normalize that? Like, it's such an uncontrolled platform, I don't really want children watching YouTube shit. Oh fuck, I fucked that move up. Damn. I don't know why people want their kids using YouTube anyway. It's just it's strangers on the internet uploading shit. You look at some of these big YouTubers and they're just awful people. Like, people like, uh, you know, people like Logan Paul are just some of the most cynical motherfuckers around. This game is so kawaii. There we go! Woo! YouTube used to be edgy. Yeah, I know, right? Because YouTube is an easy way to distract your kids and you don't have to parent much. Yeah, I know, right? May my children never learn of PewDiePie. Oh my god, yeah. You can't say cunt, but you can... What the fuck was that? Fucking possums. Fucking bastard possums. No, because Nazis use really nice language. They don't say what they mean. They just say stuff about cookie monsters and, you know, baking a lot of cookies. Ugh. God, YouTube's dumb like that. Yeah, there was, um, some... What the f... Oh, you bastard. There's a possum running across the roof. Bastards. Distracted me. Possums always fight and fuck and stuff, and it's just so fucking noisy. They don't do anything quietly, I swear to god. It's so irritating. Oops.
Oops. Be right back. Leave it at that screen. This screen? You want to see this screen? Mm, okay. So Newgrounds was always in true home of edgy shit poster. You can't do this on TV shit though. Yeah, true. When is the Claudia Brown drops the Game Award video going to happen? No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I did consider it once with all the works golds annoying me. <laughs> Just get rid of them. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be worth it though, because I'd get rid of a bunch of nice people that I like. YouTube used to be edgy, that people would be brutally unoust, unoust. For some reason I've maintained my memories of YouTube back when it first started, when I was a kid. Dude, everything else is gone. Hey, leave the possums alone, they're my bros. Uh, the world's already too damaged, whatever it means anymore. It wasn't edgy, it was a sense of killing people. It's funny now, and denial of the Holocaust. Yeah, it used to be a sort of pure kind of edge. Claudia the Gamer Cabbage. Claudia the Kuma. <laughs> Back to watching stream, this looks like a femoid game. No loading screen. Uh, oh, okay, right, gotcha. Uh... I'm used to the neighbor who had a couple of cats, and since that I'm like, person would go outside and scare off possums, try to fight her cats. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I got a new song, guys. Oh my god. So, is the music loud enough for all of you? Just let me know if it's not, okay? Ah, oh, you like the legs. There you go. Yeah, I think uh, I think if you buy this game, though, you can just look at some of the art just whenever. I don't know if you can get it just online. You probably can. <laughs> this is what happens when you're too much of a kuma. You attract a kuma audience. You've gone full Kuma Dalek. <laughs> I press political shit too, but uh, good luck finding it. <laughs> uh, not really much difference between the enemies. Um, One-handed mode. Oh my god, dude, you're such a Kuma. 
I had like a rant when I was being wasted about my experience with autism and how I began, uh, how I've been feeling at one point and I kind of regretted it, but a friend convinced me to keep it. Yeah, I think like it's hard for us to talk about it because being autistic has sort of become a bit of a meme now. Like people just kind of joke about autism a lot and it's, it's kind of hard because you, it feels a little like you're opening yourself up to get kind of shit on when you say you're autistic now. I just realised I kind of want to exit because I, I selected difficulty of one star and that's going to be really really easy and boring so I'm going to select hard. Yeah like it's kind of hard to open up and say you have autism more now than ever I think because at least when I was a kid I could tell them what it means on my own and like I could probably even lie about it if I wanted to um, but now it seems like everyone's got their own idea of what it means and often it seems quite negative um, like people just sort of think of like someone screaming and they don't think about the other side of autistic people that yeah like sometimes some of us at least will scream I don't really but I mean I'm like, like I scream more like a, a neurotypical person, I guess, or about the same amount, but like they don't really care about what we're like when we're okay and when people aren't having a meltdown. It's just like now it's just like that's it. The meltdown, that's it. Um, and I think that's really sad that it's sort of been a bit like that, like the stereotype. It's just like as if you're always having a meltdown. Even just the uh, stereotypes of being brilliant are kind of a bit of stress and pressure because people kind of expect you to be a genius sometimes when you say you're autistic and that's really weird because um, you end up going, fuck, well, I'm not, what do I do? This person thinks I'm a genius. Won't they be disappointed? I also think in a lot of social justice circles they don't really account for autism much. Like they sort of go like, oh well you shouldn't say this thing and you should just know. And you go, well, I don't know, I'm on the spectrum. And they go, that's not good enough. And some other autistic person jumps in to say, well, actually, it's, uh, actually, it's, it's fine because, uh, well, actually, you should know not to say this because I know not to say it. Uh, autism was a meme in my school made for stuff like autism too. We tend to use it to lighten up characteristics. And, yeah, I've seen people online call things they hate autistic and I've become kind of jaded to it. Yeah, it's never gonna stop. People are just gonna keep doing it. It fucking sucks. It'll stop maybe like 20 years from now. Such as when someone didn't understand sarcasm or figurative speech would be like, lol, autism, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I do it too at times, but I suppose... Uh, um, okay, hang on. Does the steam? I don't think the steam overlay shows, does it? Why is it showing my friends? I was offline, what the fuck? Did it sign me back on? There we go. Alright. The fuck? But yeah, the expectations of being super smart and stuff. Like, I don't really mind when it's um, a joke or like when people are actually describing something that's a trait of autism, I don't mind as much. But yeah, I kind of really hate um, when people just like assume that you're like a genius because you're on the spectrum and it's like, oh, that's really awkward. I don't know. I'm sort of... I'm not really thinking straight. I feel like that sentence made no fucking sense. I'm just kind of tired. <laughs> I think after this, after a couple more games maybe, or some chatting or something, I might just call it a night. Then maybe I'll go to bed. Mm. There we go. Mm 
This music is so chill and this game is so chill. These are all tweets that I was gonna send and then didn't. Oh, fuck. Get it? Because they're bluebirds. <laughs> I'm funny. drunk stream. I would, but I try to only drink on like Fridays and Saturdays and stuff and that keeps it in check because I really like alcohol so I feel like I could easily drink too much of it if I just let myself do it whenever. I didn't get the joke until you pointed it out. <laughs> uh, living in a rural, generally intolerant area, I think it's easier to just never mention it and let people just think I'm antisocial. Yeah, Cordy gets wasted and reveals her inner secrets. <laughs> yeah, I just reveal my real name. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be so bad because it would be really hard to find me, I think. Uh, I remember the whole Minecraft is for autistic kids thing, lol. Yeah, it's super popular with people who would say that. Yeah, I mean. I like Minecraft, sure, but like, I don't know, I feel like it's a dumb thing to stereotype because it was all kids, it wasn't just autistic ones. <laughs> My real name is actually Brown Claudia, exactly. I might, um, oh wow, did kids get make f made fun of for liking Minecraft? I just thought all of them did. I thought they all liked it. Anyway, I might uh, call it a night. Um, I'm getting tired. I've got a debate tomorrow with Zixeezy, so if you follow me on Twitter, I'll probably tweet out a link to the Twitch um, before I get started. So, um, yeah, it's about the landlord shit, so that'll be interesting. Um, it's at Melbourne time tomorrow. It'll be 9am, so um, whatever that is in whatever your time is. So... Yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck up Mick. Just yeah. <laughs> I mean that as a joke. You know, I've been trash talking him. Landlord Kun oh. <laughs> Yeah, um don't let the landlords bite <laughs> unless you Fuck, the amount of people who didn't know that was a joke. So funny. Anyway, guys, I'll call it a night. See you later. Have a good night. Or morning, wherever you are.